This is a good area for us older people for so many reasons. It's a beautiful country, but there are a lot of lonely people that don't have family or friends. What impacts our loved ones impacts us. The reality is there will be a lack of resources. How do we get early interventive services to seniors so that they can live in their own homes and have the best quality of life for as long as possible? Life changes dramatically as we age, more than we could ever conceive. We all believe we can live how we do, see our friends, play our bridge, golf, up until about 24 hours before we die. But that's not how it is. There are many great service providing organizations to seniors who provide a piece of the whole picture transportation or mental health or physical health or social activities. Hope West is trying to create a comprehensive one-stop shop where all of these different services can be provided and where an older person can come to one place and attend to any number of different things, physical, emotional, spiritual, social. Setting an example for the rest of the country is nothing new around here. Hope West has been well recognized nationally for how we do what we do here. That's what gives me the confidence that we can do this groundbreaking work right here in Grand Junction. When we began to dream about creating a continuum of services for people, we began looking at space. And we realized that we were already in a building, a third of it occupied by us, that was well suited. It had enough space. It was economical. Because as we create new programs like PACE, the supervision of those programs will be housed in the same place those new programs are. And each one of those services that we do, it will be decidedly different in a way that is more personal and more individualized for people. The building itself will not look like a medical adult day health center, even though it will be licensed as such. It will transform this office building into a social gathering place. It will feel like a place to hang out and to get what you need and to enjoy it while you're there. I see the vision behind this initiative as being on the cusp of the way we need to think about adult and senior care in this country. When we had a dream of this campus and this hospice center, people thought we were dreaming too big. They didn't know if we could really build what we were describing. And today, we have something that will be there for a lifetime. This campaign is really challenging this community to take care of its own. The Center for Living Your Best is a comprehensive level of services, kind of a one-stop shop for seniors, if you will. And those models are the models that work. It's not just the seniors that will benefit from the program. It's their support systems, their families, their friends, just like in the Hope West program. I don't want him to have to worry about my future. I think it'd be great to have that future in my control and not my children's control. That would sum up why I would support this capital campaign. It has to be funded now, and it has to be developed now. And looking back 10 years from now, I believe the people from Grand Junction will say, gee, I'm glad I made that happen. I love their tagline, we'll be here for you. To know that there is an extraordinarily strong provider institution already delivering services, thinking ahead, being creative, 
That is so powerful to me. The campaign is very important to Hope West and the Grand Valley. We don't have to have our seniors go to Denver. They don't have to go to Salt Lake. Maybe they don't have to go live with their children. They can still share time with their friends. This program will offer a lot of different options that we haven't had available. The Hope Blooms campaign and the Center for Living Your Best are really leveraging the investment people have already made to be even more meaningful and to serve an even broader portion of the people who live here. Hope West is not owned by an outside group. It's owned by the communities it serves, and it's defined by the people who contribute. For us to be in a role that we can facilitate helping each other as we age, as we face illness, as we're grieving, as our minds change, as our bodies change, what a gift that is. People have the chance in this community to truly create their own future.